Moving on to another redox equation, we have uh, methane which is uh, burning with oxygen and it is producing carbon dioxide and water, a water molecule. Now if you look at this equation carefully, carbon had hydrogen over here and it lost those hydrogens because it formed carbon dioxide. So it's losing hydrogen and it's gaining oxygen. Whenever something is gaining oxygen, it's getting uh, it's getting oxidized. So we have again found directly which which particular substance carbon over here for example is getting oxidized and uh, now we, we're not sure which one is getting which substance is getting reduced so this is slightly more complicated and now we need to we need the help of oxidation states to find everything out which one is getting oxidized and which one is getting reduced uh, now based on this uh, if you look at carbon ch4 if you look observe carefully we know the for example i re, i will rewrite ch4 and we will find the oxidation states of all the elements hydrogen we, we are sure has an oxidation state of plus 1 and uh, carbon is the unknown oxidation state and since there are four hydrogens we would multiply this by 4 and this should all add up to 0 where x would come out to be minus 4 so over here you have uh, you have carbon which is plus 4 and hydrogen which is no carbon is actually it is actually minus 4 and hydrogen is plus 1 on the other hand you have oxygen over here now oxygen is a free element it's existing on its own it has a net charge of 0 so it would have an oxidation state of 0 Meanwhile, on the other hand, if you look at carbon dioxide, uh, and I will rewrite carbon dioxide, we know the oxidation state of uh, oxygen now, minus 2, and since there are 2 of them, so it would be minus 2 into 2. The oxidation state of carbon is unknown, so we will take that as, an, as x, and if you solve for x, it comes out to be plus 4. So the oxidation state of carbon over here is plus 4 and the oxidation state of oxygen over here is minus 2 and if you look at this molecule we already know the oxidation state of both elements oxygen is minus 2 and hydrogen is plus 1 and if you uh, add all of them up I'll do a simple calculation you'll have uh, you can add them together it's uh, the plus 1 would be multiplied by 2 because there are two hydrogens and you'll add uh, minus 2 to it and if you add all of that up the net charge is 0 which is the net charge on the water molecule there is no net charge on the water molecule which is 0 so now based on the oxidation state we need to find out which one is getting reduced uh, if you look at oxygen oxygen had an oxidation state of 0 and over here oxygen has an oxidation state of minus 2 so so oxygen is getting reduced because all of the oxygen atoms on this side on the right hand side of the equation has an oxidation state of minus 2 so oxygen went from uh, having an oxidation state of 0 to having an oxidation state of minus 2 on the other hand carbon had an oxidation state of minus 4 and it eventually had an oxidation state of plus 4 at the other end so carbon got oxidized whereas oxygen got reduced which makes uh, oxygen the oxidizing agent and it makes carbon the reducing agent so this sums up how we found oxidation reduction in this particular equation now we're going to move on to slightly more complicated equation these were simple equations we could we, we really did not need uh, oxidation states to figure out which one was oxidizing agent and which one was the reducing agent but in the next equations you would probably need uh, to actually calculate oxidation states for example we have this equation you have uh, 3 CuSO4 and it's reacting with aluminium and it is producing Al2SO4 3 and also it's uh, producing 3 copper 
copper metal ion metal uh, atoms so you have CSO4 reacting with aluminum it's producing aluminum sulfate and uh, copper copper is getting displaced it's again a displacement reaction because aluminum in the reactivity C is more uh, reactive than compared to copper so it's displacing uh, copper from its uh, solution now you have this equation and we need to figure out the oxidation states uh, of all the elements for example we, we would first need to actually figure out uh, the oxidation states of copper sulfate all the elements now you have copper and you have sulfate one thing that you can do in this case is you can find the oxidation state we know the charge on the sulfate ion which is minus 2 so the charge on the copper uh, ion over here would be plus 2 so the oxidation state of copper is plus 2 but we don't know what the oxidation state of sulfur and oxygen is so once you have the oxidation state of copper which we have basically calculated because we already knew what sulfate ion the charge on the sulfate ion is we can take copper as plus 2 we can take this one sulfur and we don't know what the oxidation state of sulfur is we can take that as x we know the oxidation state of oxygen which is minus 2 and since there are four of them over here so it's minus 2 into 4 and that should all equal 0 so if we do that and if we do the calculation for X and add up all the charges, individual oxidation states, uh, the oxidation state of uh, sulfur comes out to be, it would come out to be plus 6. So sulfur over here is uh, plus 6 and oxygen over here is minus 2 as we already know. Now aluminium is existing as a free element. So aluminium would be, would have an oxidation state of exactly 0. Now in this molecule we have Al2 SO4 and 3. Now again we can think, uh, we can calculate the, the oxidation state of aluminium, it's in group 3, it's already known, it's plus 3. So that's known, plus 3 and we will multiply it by 2 because there are two aluminiums and you have sulfur there we don't know what sulfur is again which is x but there are three of them over here so it would be multiplied by three and you have four oxygens so it would be minus two into four and the total charge on this entire thing is there is no total charge so it's equal to zero and if we calculate for x x again comes out to be equal to plus six so Aluminium because it's in group 3 it's plus 3, sulfur is plus 6, oxygen is minus 2, now you have copper left, copper is existing on its own, it's a free element, it has no charge so it's, a, it's oxidation state would be 0. Now looking at this entire equation now if you want to figure out which one is getting, uh, which substance is getting oxidized, which element is getting oxidized. You just need to find the, the element whose oxidation state is increasing. And uh, let's look at aluminium over here for a second. Now aluminium is going from 0 to plus 3. So this is definitely an example of oxidation. So aluminium is going from 0 and it is going to Al plus 3. So this over here is an example of oxidation so aluminium is getting oxidized and we can we can also relate our other uh, definitions of oxidation where oxidation also meant a loss of electrons so if you're going from 0 to plus 3 that basically definitely means that you're losing electrons now on the other hand let's look of another element which is getting reduced because if something is getting oxidized something else must be reduced so if you look at copper copper is plus 2 over here and right at the other end copper is zero so copper is going from plus two to copper zero it had an oxidation state of zero so its oxidation state is decreasing so this is an example of reduction so since aluminium is getting oxidized this one must be the reducing agent and since copper is getting reduced this one must be the 
oxidizing agent in the entire equation.